But then what about yourself? Because I know you, you were talking about your new label and stuff, but how, did, how, when, when things are slowing down, what, what do you end up doing then when, when, when you're not getting the labels giving you advances or calling you to do production? What do you end I up do doing? Like, I do like any responsible, productive society, citizen in society does. Uh, I have a truck. I own my own truck. I drive east, maybe as far as Missouri, Colorado, you know, and I make money doing that on side of whatever. I got royalties coming in for music. So you got to survive. If the music don't make you what you need to make, it's the sad thing is for the people who are still trying to figure it out and the money isn't there, you know. Do you think if you had um, had the business, the music business knowledge early on, that you would have, from the records and the hits that you've had, that you could have been living off royalties so much more that you didn't have to do no, anything. Because that has nothing to do with being financially responsible. I made a lot of money. <laughs> and, and it so have a lot of other people. It depends on what's, what your likes are, what, what your standard of living is, what you like, you know, what you think you can and can't afford. So, I mean, there are people who made uh, way less money than me that might be living better than me because they made some different decisions. So financial literacy is a, is a big thing. But, you know, everybody views money. Some people view it for what it can do for them. And some people view it for the, I mean, always make sure just in case. It depends. It depends. I mean, I've seen artists that they gave advances to and they'd say, hey, man, this is just to hold you over. You know, until you uh, we get put the album out and you start making some money, they go and put up the whole check on a brand new BMW Mercedes Benz. <laughs> you know, and then so like KG and they got to figure out, okay, you still got to make the payments and insurance. So then if they blow the whole money, they ain't no place to stay. Oh, you got to figure out how to get them transportation. If you don't pay the car note, guess whose problem that is? Clive don't want to hear nothing about that. He went down. So. Financial literacy. I can't say one way or another. You know, if I'd have made more money, where would I be? What I'd be doing? I'll tell you, I I love driving. I'm a car fanatic. Oh, I you did say you love cars, yeah? Yeah, I was doing it. God willing, I don't even see retiring from it, even doing music. Like, I get so many ideas just riding around listening while I'm working and that's how it came to me before KG situation. So I'm thankful that I do something that I love doing. It's mm -hmm. not a job. You know, I get to decide my own hour just like in the studio. If I don't wake up and go to work, I don't make no money. <laughs> I don't eat. You know, so I'm fortunate in that aspect. But um there are other people, you know, that have started I've had stores before and things like that. Um so I think when music and, and you have to be careful. Um, you never know what a person is doing or has done to have what it is that you think is nice or to maintain what you think is. You don't know behind the scenes what that's costing them. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody paints their own Picasso, but you could be thinking like, oh, man, they sweating bullets. Are they doing something that you are making choices you and I would never make just for their parents of? Mm. So you've come out with a new label. People say, why now? Why, you know, because the industry is still, you know, still uncertainty about how um, independent art, R&B artists are, are, are making money. So what was the, what was the, the decision to relaunch a new label and, and start coming out now? Good music. Good music. Um, uh, the same approach that I did that made all the other hits that I, I've been a part of. Um, why not? I'm, I don't want to live in a world that should have, could have, would have. And then you look back and say, man, you know, I could have. 55 or 54 is not 65 or 64. Why not? And I got, I mean, the, the people that I'm working with and uh, 
the people that are a part of it. And, and I, I've had a different model, um, albeit how whatever the size of the pie is in terms of how much that turns into. I would like to create, I'm creating a situation that's a residual base where there are people um, like the person who does radio or the person who does the video. A lot of times we like songs because of the video, but that only represented, you know, one time payment, but it is every time it comes on, you know, people are, well, what if we could create a situation where they enjoy uh, the success financially that everybody else does because they equally put into the creative process. Um, and that's my mindset to have a situation moving forward where there's a residual value for everybody coming together to work on something. And it's nice to put one of these things on the wall, but you can buy one of these for a couple hundred bucks. Why not have the money coming in? That speaks way more than, yeah. you know, this stuff. And that's just me. And I think that when you get in a position of, of power or leveraging, and the way with digital distribution is now, I can do whatever I want. You know, you can't tell me what I can do. If I want to be a blessing to people who I think are less appreciated or overlooked, that's what I'm going to do. So what have you done? Have you so you've started the label? What's the name of your label? D Collective. D Collective. So, with what's the idea behind it? Is it that you're going to be looking for new artists, or you've got your own artists, or what's the what's the plan and well, it's, it's pretty, the artists are pretty much a lot of the writers that I've been working with, and some who have been artists that, um, for whatever reason, politics, um, I felt like, you know, uh, they didn't get a fair shape or, you know, um, um, I don't know. Uh, best way I can describe it is I think they're dope. This is my opinion. I mm. think they're talented. If I had to go down in flames, I would go out in flames with every last one of them. Because mm. I believe in their talents. I got the same feeling that I had towards the other records that I did. And um, when I leave here, when my time is up, I want to know that. If I had opportunity to continue to sow some of those positive vibes and put out good music, you know, and I believe in the longevity of it. Um, even like the songs we're talking about now and I've done, here it is. You know, how many years later is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some 20 years, yeah. Yeah, so it's more about people get into, oh, no, so if you make timeless songs like the one that I grew up with, they may not come out the whole, like, <clears throat> but if it's good music, it'll stick around. It'll find a place. It'll meet a person. So that's that's what I'm doing with. And I'm sure there are going to be new artists coming along. And I get a chance to work with some wonderful musicians and uh, uh, have them contribute to the creative process that I have started. And um, we'll see. I mean, it's evolving. The first thing is to put out the records and um, so that let the public decide, you know, just think, if Eddie didn't have Donnell, and he wasn't, uh, yeah, if Eddie didn't have Donnell, that the world might not have ever heard. You know, you know what's up. Mm -hmm. Because how many people? I forgot how many. But like, and they weren't people in the position of power. Or like I remember uh, when we started taking records, at, I mean, taking music and meetings at J Records and one of the A&Rs, I can't remember what his name was, he's like, yeah, man, that Rough Fins record was was, was dope, man. Just imagine if, if Usher or Tyrese or somebody had done it. And I told him, I said, no, if who did it was exactly who was supposed to do it, because if they didn't do it, I wouldn't be here talking to you. Because <laughs> more than likely, you would have been like, ah, you know, I mean, sometimes people can't hear stuff until they hear it, mm. you know? So that's what these these records are going to be. Uh, D. Lighty's um, uh, culmination with uh, Cliff Lighty, Blair Muhammad, 
Cherie Hicks, uh, Juanita Wynn, Veronica McKenzie, uh, Dee Dee Artis, uh, Charmel Colfield, uh, Delvis Damon, um, possibly gonna do some stuff with Bub uh, from today. Uh, we were talking, we'll see how that unfolds. But um, those first primary Corpy, oh, and Tiffany Favorite. Tiffany Favorite, she was on uh, uh, Sunday's Best. Now, I always say this, and uh, when it comes to like, uh, when people would play me their demos and try to get my opinion, I've always said I don't possess a crystal ball. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you nor predict what I think a million plus people may gravitate to. However, I do have an idea based off of some things I've done. Doesn't mean that it's gonna go that way, but if we had to take a gamble, I think I'm worth betting on. I mean, I mean, you you listed a lot of people that you've worked with. The what's the first thing we should expect from the the collective? Are we, are we expecting a compilation album? Like, no, uh, we, we're going to do a series of, of independent single records. Okay, with these artists, Juanita Wynn being first, Cherie Hicks, uh, then Cliff, my brother, uh, Tiffany, favorite, um, and then I think Charmel Colfield, and then my sister, um, Anastasia, all stays. <laughs> <laughs> and and when 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 is when do we expect the first single to be dropped? Uh probably in a couple of weeks. Like you know, oh, we're okay. just doing a little, uh, we're doing a lot of press for the label. One of the things that I thought that was important. Um, everybody knows me. I'm not this guy, and so you know, in the camera, you know, uh, <laughs> attention seeking. But I understood in order to be fair to uh, um the idea that I needed to associate uh, the label instead of it just being an image in my name so that people could recognize the name is, is associated with all the things that I've done that's been successful. Mm -hmm. Because so that when I start dropping the new music, they at least give me a positive ear or they give me a chance to listen to it rather than just, ah, what's that, you know? And that's all I ask for. So if I got to go out on the chopping block, and bear my soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, KG was the same thing. I mean, he wasn't in the videos and dancing around, so people didn't really know him. They knew the name, but just didn't know him. And, and you know, so there, there's a big, massive difference with those who are like Timberland or Pharrell, who... Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, listen, that, that's work. Look, I mean, I can't dance. You know, I <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you guys did do some of the stuff with the flex. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of Halftime Chat. Please remember to subscribe, share, and comment. But most importantly, why don't you become a member of Halftime Chat? We've got amazing videos, amazing perks, and um, being able to support the channel. But anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. I never participated in that kind of hey, somewhere in between. Us, or even loving us on which I did miss you. Yeah, the upside was it like growing up? It is if she was still making an impact on four houses down. I have a good I didn't get this one and that one. But that works for me, but just for me, I can tell. I mean, I was, I, I love, I love all different genres.